Hello students, I'm Imani Sharma, your UGC Net Educator. In this new YouTube video, we are going to move forward with the concept series which are related to paper 1, which is Teaching and Research Aptitude for UGC Net. But what unit are we covering? We are covering and we have tried to make videos on ICT. And what is the to topic of interest that we are going to deal with in today's YouTube lecture? We are going to talk about one of the important topics which are there that is the digital schemes which are used in higher education when it comes to the ICT field. So there are of course certain schemes which are launched we are going to talk about all of them in here right most of them in here. But before jumping directly into that I have an important announcement to make that we are going to start with the paper 1 teaching and research aptitude for UGC net the course which is there which is going to start from the 10th of July and of course we all are starting with the two paper specific subjects subject specific subjects as well right what are those we are starting with paper 2 English literature for UGC net and of course paper 2 political science if you need any further information you can click on the link provided in the description below now let's jump directly into the video and the content that I have brought forth which is really important from the net perspective correct so coming back here again is first of all why what is the introduction what are the digital schemes why do we need them in today's time let me just give you this one quick thing that with the advancement of technology we are building certain things we are not just advancing in the field of Instagram we are not just advancing in the field of Facebook etc right or clubhouse of such applications TikTok etc but we are also advancing in the fields of the digital schemes which are provided so we all need to be aware of that all right if I am in the field of higher education just like you all who are watching the video right now you all will be knowing that there are certain things which I am unaware of, correct? And of course, when I will be aware, maybe I can get enrolled myself in those uh, one of those particular schemes which are there. Hence, they are there and they are launched by the government of India with certain digital schemes. And why do I call digital? Because of the fact we are dealing with the field, the unit of ICT, correct? These initiatives aim to enhance the accessibility of education that it should be accessible to all. They all are digitally literate as well as in how to use those resources, those schemes. Quality of education should not be deteriorated when we compare the offline classes with the online ones. The quality should remain the same and the affordability of education systems, correct, across the country. Now all the information that I have in here, all the schemes that I have in here, they are launched by the government of India along with the mission of national mission on education through ICT that you are going to educate. So all the schemes that we are going to see in here, they come under this very paradigm of NME ICT, national mission on education through ICT because you are using ICT to educate the people nationally. So it is a national mission which is it. It is a comprehensive initiative to leverage ICT of course to enhance the quality and reach of education so that everyone can get access to the field, the resources which are provided and easily available for all encompasses various projects including content creation that people are creating content teacher training that teachers are also being taught right and infrastructure development this particular NME ICT it aims to bridge the digital divide which is there between the urban people and the rural people right how there are certain people who are aware of the digital world they know the schemes they know how to use a phone where, where to search what thing etc but there are certain people who do not know of such things so to bridge to you know remove that very gap between the people who know and who do not know about these digital schemes that is one you know also that is one of the aims of NME ICT so first initiative that the first initiative or the scheme that we are talking about in here is NAD that is National Academic Depository where you can you know get the issuance, storage and verification of your academic certificates and documents. So it is again as I already told you digital schemes we are doing. So it is a digital platform where you will get access 
to the certificates which are issued to you. You can store, upload your own certificates and verify them. Ensure authenticity, security and easy access to academic records for students and institutions. So, institutions can do that for you. And of course, the certificate which is uploaded in here in NAT, that is say, that holds the same value as of a hard copy. Correct? It eliminates the need for physical documents when they are required. You do not need the physical document, physical certificate which is there. You can show the person the soft copy of the certificate, of course, and it will be valid just as the physical or the hard copy one. Then we have NDL, that is National Digital Library. So, as the name suggests, it is digital library and it is nationally available, which means that all the books, the resources, etc., which come under NDL, right, this very particular portal, will be available to all people. Right? A platform for students and educators to access a vast collection of digital resources available there. So, it is not that you, you need to be a student, you need to be an educator, you belonging from any field can get access to the various reading resources, various resources which are there available in the library, the digital library that is NDL. Ebooks academic articles which are published, videos, audio materials from various sources and it promotes open access. As I already told you that you can, be it you, you are from any field, you can have access to NDL and the resources, the ebooks, the audios, the video materials which are provided there for free etc. For educational content. So, open access means it's available for all, need not to pay. Then we have e yantra, that is initiative to promote hands-on learning on robotics has been asked in the net examination that which particular scheme deals with robotics in India. So it's e yantra, right? So robotics was one thing which was robotics. So let's just say the field of research is not till now that much promoted in India. So the people wanted of course, to inculcate that habit of curiosity and practical application in students and hence this particular scheme was launched for robotics, right? And embedded systems which are there for training, resources and robotic kits to colleges and universities. So, under this very particular scheme, if you are interested in robotics, right, you will be provided in your college or university, you will be provided with the robotic kit right? Training ke liye saman milega, you will also get the resources which are required. The training etc. will also be there. Fosters creativity, problem solving and innovation in the engineering education. So, of course, it will help your mind to get a little bit more creative that how can I be unique? How can I be different? Right? Problem solving skills will enhance of course because you are trying to see that I want to create a robot for this very particular thing and the innovation will spark in your mind. So, to foster those very things, this particular scheme named e yantra was launched. Then we have National Knowledge Network. What do we really mean by network? We till now are doing ICT. Network, group of different, different nets, right? So, of course, High-speed network that connects educational and research institutions across India and how they should be collaborating, how they should be sharing because we are talking about national knowledge network. So, we are going to make a network of the educators, right, in the fields of education and the people from the fields of research to collaborate, come there, share their resources and access to remote education and research facilities remotely. It enhances connectivity and enables seamless communication among academia. So, anyone who is from the research field, they can also, you know, get connected to other people from the academia using the NKN, National Knowledge Network. Moving forward, we have virtual labs. Labs, we all know, laboratories, where we used to do experiments in our schools, etc. But virtual word, you know, word is used here. So, virtual labs mean that you need not go to the laboratory physically to perform certain experiments, but rather you can perform those experiments virtually. Simulated environment for conducting experiments and practical learning. 
it covers different different types of disciplines such as physics chemistry biology engineering etc and of course you are virtually performing the experiments you are not physically going to your college you university school etc it helps students to gain practical skills and knowledge remotely remotely means jahan pe ho wahi pe correct so we say work from home or working at the remote place so of course where you are wahi se you can perform you can perform your practical so virtual labs then we have ndlm national digital literacy mission which is of course as the name suggest and i am going to recommend one thing that you all while watching this video right please note down the full forms of these very things because through the full forms only the national knowledge network nkn scheme we know it is a network for the collaboration of research and academia here again as well that national digital literacy mission so digital literacy honi chahiye people should be knowing about that the digital schemes are launched they should be aware of those very things to make individuals digitally literate by providing them training on digital skills and technologies that let's just say if they want to raise a complaint against anything any service provided right if they want to make changes in their the aadhar card people from rural india, india you know rural areas in india as well they are not particularly or digitally aware till now so to provide all of them with the training of this very thing to enhance right their prob you know let's just say to bringing forward and solving their problems easily without even going physically to the suvidha center etc that is why this particular scheme is launched offers courses and resources to enhance the digital literacy and bridge the digital divide the digital divide we already have talked about empower students and educators with essential digital skills for academic and professional growth as well the teachers and educators the students as well should be knowing about certain things because in today's time when when covid was also there of course people the teachers who were a little elder they did not know how to use let's just say google meet or zoom etc so digital this very mission to digitally literate them of those very particular applications is also really important for the students as well as the educators correct then we have neptel or nptel that is national program on technology enhanced learning time and again asked in the net examination joint initiative of iits and iisc bangalore these two pan india iisc iits etc all of them have come together under this very mission of N nptel offers online courses and video lectures on various disciplines including engineering science and humanities so of course on youtube as well there are certain lectures which are available under neptel right which is a joint initiative of iits all the iits pan iits and iisc bangalore high quality educational content and certifications to learners across the country so of course here as well for nptel if you get enrolled in a particular course and you need a certification you will have to provide them with a minimal fee and of course they will be providing you with the certificate other than that the videos are already freely available to all then we have e gyan mitra learning e learning platform provides educational content and resources to students and teachers gyan mitra right so of course it is the knowledge the friend of knowledge that you all should have and it is e gyan which means that e content will be provided to you bridging the gap between urban and rural education by delivering digital learning materials which are there it enables access to quality education and the quality education even the discrimination between the urban and rural divide is removed because all of them are getting the same type of education the same quality of education when it comes to that correct so the quality of education in enhanced in remote areas as well through the usage of digital means e shodh sindhu this is really important from research perspective as well as well as it is of course a digital initiative hence we are talking about it in here as well access to scholarly journals 
and research papers and articles which are published by people. So you can access those very things in this very particular portal. You can read those journals time and again. You can download them. Centralized platform for universities and colleges to access e-resources from various publishers. And of course, you can cite them in your own research paper for that matter when you are writing your own. So e-resources, right, they are provided in here. This particular, you know, Portal, e Shodh Sindhu, it promotes research because mostly here you will see research papers, articles, journals, etc. So it is promoting research and knowledge sharing among academic communities that even if you had knowledge, you shared it with other people by uploading your research paper, journal, article, etc. So of course, this is another thing. Then we have NVLI, National Virtual Library of India. This is different from the NDL. Ambitious project aims to create a virtual repository of India's cultural and knowledgeable resources. So, of course, here the heritage and culture National Digital Library of India is basically providing resources which are related to India's culture and India's knowledge per se. Hmm? Digital books, manuscripts, audiovisual content, etc. is provided in here. Preserves and promotes the rich heritage that India has. When it comes to, let's just say, Pali, Prakrit, any manuscripts which are available to us, they are also available to us now, rather in the digital format. So, you see that you do not need to go and find these digital, you know, these manuscripts by visiting certain places, but rather you can visit the National Digital Library of India, you can read those manuscripts there for your research purposes, correct? So, of course, we all need to be aware of these very particular schemes and government of India has launched to provide the equality, the quality, accessibility of the education that should be having, we all should be having. The digital transformation, not just in the field of technology in other fields, but in the field of education is of utmost importance when it comes in here. Empower students, teachers and institutions with technology enabled learning and resources and that is one thing which will be keeping up us with the global level space that yes we are also reaching to that very particular level we are also technologically advancing right towards and in the field of education to enhance the quality accessibility and global competitiveness for India's higher education system, correct? So this is all that we were supposed to cover when it comes to the digital schemes which were launched by the government of India and under the ICT or NME ICT mission, right? I'll bring forward certain other videos which are related to paper one. Till then you all keep on smiling. Thank you so much and have a good day.